The game explains why he didn't inherit the early G Unit beef. Check this out. You know, I think it was Flex asking me how I felt about, you know, 50s beef with Nas and Jadakiss and Fat Joe. I'm like, yo, these is niggas that I was in a trap. Like, I'm bumping these albums. Like, I know these niggas. And these, these albums have molded me to be who I am. Before I even knew of a 50, like, I was I was running Nas and running Fat Joe and definitely running the locks and Kiss and all of that shit. So I felt like... Nah, I can't really do that because I was staying true to myself. And if I was a weird, um, just a weak bitch ass nigga, then I would have just been like, oh, fuck the niggas I grew up listening to. Right. Like, I don't have any ties to them, but I really felt indebted. So the reason why he didn't participate in the G Unit beef is because 50 was beefing with his childhood heroes. Well, the joke is on you, game. They all showed up at the final lap tour, which you weren't invited. I mean, 50 Cent and Fat Joe actually shared the stage together, game. Again, the joke's on you. Now, of course, you, Rick Ross, and Ja Rule are all in the same boat still. But everybody else, Nas, Fat Joe, they all came out to the final lap tour. But you guys, again, y'all weren't invited. And game, that gotta hurt a little bit. Your biggest album was when you were with G-Unit. Now it's 20 years later and you ain't drop another documentary at all. In all honesty, you would have did better riding with 50. 50 Cent is the reason why you have some of the success that you had. Because after that G-Unit album, that documentary, oh, you know what happened. That career took a nosedive. But at this point in game, you got to stand on everything you have done. You can't be around G-Unit. You definitely ain't going around the final lap tour. And the biggest thing, where you were most successful, you're no longer allowed. Anyway, decisions, decisions, decisions. Like, subscribe, and share. Real talk, real shit, the podcast.